Hi, I'm Warwick Dice, and welcome back to Let's Play Baroque. I need to click on this so it actually loads at a regular rate. Picking up items is my hobby, though I can only hold five items. Yeah, I'm probably not going to get all of the voice things, because if you get all the voice things, then... Oh, actually, first... Can you not stare at me, please? Say something. Can you not speak? Yeah, he's a little crazy. You're right. It's better if I disappeared. Die. Die, you're right. I'm going to die. Die, die! Yeah, he's a little crazy. Something else now. No. I, I, what have I done? That is a good question. Horns? Who are you? Are you saying what I'm thinking? Stop that. Please stop. What am I doing? What am I trying to do? What am I doing? She what am I trying? Now. The members of the religious order of Malkuth said, the consciousness orbs gather at the bottom floor. There the world is delivered, and from there the world is released. Okay, so now we know we need consciousness orbs. Do you say anything else? You should say something else. The false angels are saying, the Neuro Tower is a sanctuary. It protects us, and we must protect it. Good to know. Marie said, each person has their own enemies. I think she said something else, too. Marie said, no. each person has their... Now we get to go meet someone else who will actually talk to us now. Hmm. Quite a rare thing to have a customer in this day and age. I am but a vacant being filled with brokes of others. I do not have a name. So, you may call me what you like. Quit it. I've no reason to fight with you. And let's go talk to somebody else. Yeah, basically a requirement is you do have to go around and talk to all these people, even though I'm wasting vitality on it. No, I cannot let you pass. I've been told that it's okay to get rid of you. But I don't want to do something like that. So seriously, knock it off. Go on, get out of here. I'm telling you to go. Yeah, you can get him to kill you. It is very possible. In fact, one of the things you have to do in it is to do that. When the item list's got ten items filled in, he's gonna make it so that the bag on my head can hold ten items. Please don't cause me any pain right now. I haven't picked up any of your items. Yeah. Alright, uh, we should be done with all those people. Let's go heal up, and we'll talk to, uh, the angel again. How's your memory? It seems you have difficulty speaking, but we must consider it fortunate that you are even in this shape. You should have already learned what you must do. You understand, don't you? What you must do? Or do you know what you must do to atone for your sin in the real world? could give it to other people and they say stuff about it um, but we're not gonna do it on this run because I think somebody takes it 
Um, however, we are going to heal. I believe that does break after a little while. Well, anyway, first thing we have to do is get it registered. All items you want to register. Throw something at me. I can't hold on to this. You can have it back. Yeah. But he now has it registered, so he knows what the item is. Uh, in your item screen, it'll appear as red uh, down at the bottom left if you... Um, False angels are... are uh, uh, if you have given it to I him already. Training. Please, step in, goddammit! He's one of my favorite characters in the entire game. I prefer to avoid goddamn pointless disputes. He says goddamn a lot. Hold on. Let me measure your height. Yeah, we want to go to the training dungeon because it gets us some Don't integral levels. Don't wear out your life and soul. Make sure you keep your goddamn health and vitality as high as you can. Yeah, that's weird little... His... Even in non-recording, his voice has little skips. When your health reaches zero, <laughs> you die. Try not to take damage. Common sense. BT is your vitality. It depletes gradually. When it reaches zero, your health will deplete. So keep an eye on the goddamn thing. I think he says something over here. If you press the attack button repeatedly, you'll dish out a combo attack. Use it in combination with the special attack button to your goddamn advantage. Yeah, you can do little, like, Dynasty Warriors combos. But they usually don't work out that well. Attack with the attack button. Don't think about dodging. Just try attacking the meta beings head on, goddammit. Considering we've already fought enough of them, we already know what's going on here. Crazy flying fish. If you purify a meta being, it'll drop an item or a crystal. If you pick up a crystal, you'll recover a small bit of vitality. I think he says something else. If I eat the bone. You can uh, come in here to grind for pork bones. I believe he lets you in multiple times. That was the item screen. Highlight an item and press the confirm button to equip it or to get ready to throw it. Yeah, which saves on time, because you can scroll this way, but when you have a lot of items later, it will screw you. There are items on the floor in this room. Please pick them up before proceeding, goddammit. Yeah, he hasn't said goddammit in a long time. What you pick up is yours. Please press the goddamn item button. That's right. I see you equipped it, goddammit. That's good. You can equip using the item screen. Uh, when I first played, I didn't realize that there was a tutorial, and I kept going back in and not realizing that you can gain at least a few levels outside of it, and you can regain some, get some extra health and vitality later on. Yeah, see the special attack? The special attack button I rarely use unless I get a weapon that has there something. There are a bunch of different meta beings and swords, so there are a lot of ways to attack. Good luck, goddammit. Uh, uh, before he interrupted me, um, sometimes this will like shoot out lightning or, you know, some other effect depending on what you equip. Um, that'll make a big difference. There are tons of tough meta beings on the next floor. Please be careful and don't let your goddamn guard down. The beginning is the tough part. Don't die. I also like his kind of semi-sarcastic uh, talking. If you get hit from behind or surrounded, it means trouble. Stay alert in rooms with a lot of meta beings. Sorry we saw the mouse go in. The stupid windows pop-up came up again. Press the map button to bring up the 2D map. Please use this to keep from getting lost. God damn it. 
The 2D map only displays the goddamn rooms you've been to. The red triangle is your position and direction you're facing. The blue marker is the port. Make good use of it, goddammit. If you eat a heart, you'll recover some of your goddamn vitality. As long as you have vitality, you'll regain health over time. You run out of vitality? Your goddamn health. Press the map button to bring up the uh, 2D map. He's repeating himself. Red marker displays Normally I stay still so he can say the whole tip. Direction. But that time Come he didn't want to. Liar. There are no meta beings on this floor. <laughs> it was a present to give you a thrill. Be thankful, goddammit. Next is really the big show. Get ready before you go down, goddammit. <laughs> And he doesn't say anything about the code. No, there's not another bone down here. I thought there was another port bone down here. And you can die in the dungeon. I think he laughs at you if you do. I think he calls you like an idiot or something. My vitality is getting low, but it's rather irrelevant. I just want to get through this dungeon. And at least I start off at level 2, so it'll make the first, like, two floors of, uh, the actual Neuro Tower much easier. If you press the target button when you hear a meta being, face in its goddamn direction. One, two, three, bravo! Gimme, 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 gimme. Four bravos! Yeah, uh, the crystals later, the stronger the monster, the more you'll regain in vitality. I don't really have much, so. And when you sort how I had two bones before, now it's become one. But I could use them to uh, regain some vitality real quick, because they're only When your bones. vitality reaches zero, your health will start depleting. Yeah, he's kind of warning you not to do that. Beat them! You're strong! That's not good. Oh, uh, I guess that is good. And also, it's nice to at least have some equips when you head into the next dungeon. I usually strip off my equips and keep like something in reserve in case I go down further. Um, in the later levels, it's always good to have if something extra. If you still extra. have vitality, your health will refill. When you're low on health, go hide in a safe place and let yourself recover, goddammit. Yeah, it makes me wish I had a fast forward on the game. Coffin Guy's Dungeon for Dummies ends after you go down here. Your vitality is at zero, so your health will start depleting. Yeah, uh, those, just for info, um, they have these panels, which you saw one earlier with the fireball trap. That one basically explodes around it. It's kind of nice to trap enemies. Usually if you can get the jump on them or if you run faster than them, you can go ahead and trap them. It's an easy way to save yourself from health. Oh yeah, one more piece of advice. I'm using the target lock to move around swiftly, goddammit. I don't usually use the target lock. I'll use it on later floors, but in the beginning it doesn't really matter. Most of the enemies are pretty damn easy, so it's not even a big deal. I think I just head in the green and I'll be good. Yep. And let's save. Saving is good. Dying is less good. And now if you see I have plus one. Um, every time you go through it, you get a plus, uh, and I think there is a maximum you can get in pluses before you get like essentially a game over, where it basically tells you like you're an idiot. I think that you can only step on twice. Um, well, let's take this and we shall go. That if you go to the item screen, and this is the first time I've seen this item, I'll add this to the collection in the bag on my head. Alright, now we gotta unequip this stuff. 
this is the first time I've seen this item. I'll add this to the collection in the bag on my head. This is the first time I've seen this item. I'll add this to the collection in the bag on my head. This is the first time I've seen this item. I'll add this to the collection in the bag on my head. Alright, I'll just tuck this into the bag on my head. It's full now. The bag on my head is all full. I'll give it back to you. Yeah, and he broke the bone. I think you punch him to get stuff back? Please, don't cause me any pain. I'll give you back yeah. your items. So, please forgive me. Alright. Um, I think I'll take the leather armor with me. Because I don't really need it. I'll keep the seed here. Actually, I'll keep. I'll take the seed. Yeah, that's just a blank spot. Okay. I'll take the leather with me. I'll keep the atonement because the atonement sword isn't bad and I can use it later. Um, but for now, yeah, let's re-equip that. And the re good reason to take seeds back with you is now I can use it. And now I have 109. Yeah, that'll break after a certain amount of time. Normally you can go to the dungeon keeper or the dungeon master, and I think if you go in and then back out, you can reset that. Um, also, you unlock another place later that you can do that. Okay, good to know. And since we got Guryu right in the beginning, let's eat that now. More health for me. Sight wings. I yeah, might as well put that for now. I think they had a little bit of defense. Another Guryu. Yeah, usually first floor you can find a bunch of health items or swords or other stuff. That's kind of helpful. The best is every once in a while you'll find like one or two seeds. So that way you can just quickly kill the fish and uh, use them right away. And I think the music in this is just right where it's not too much. Where it's not like so repetitive and like overpowering. Fuck you. Um, that it gets annoying. Like it adds enough of an accent, but it's not bad enough where it starts getting like irritating. Like a lot of RPGs will have like way too high pitched tinny music that recycles after like. Uh, six or seven notes, you know, where it's like, and it gets really irritating. Oh. Yes, evolution fluids are great. Um, I kind of hope I'd have a split for it, but I think I'll save that until uh, I get to a little bit higher of a level. I think it depletes something on you. Um, usually when you use it or it has a chance to do something weird. But, uh, I'm not sure. I don't like the fact that I don't have a sword right now. It just means it takes more hits. Yeah, stupid music getting slowed down. Alright. I think there's something all the way over here, because I failed to go through... Oh, hey. Critical hit with fists. That's pretty nice. Oh, experience bones. Experience bones are your friends. And then some. I think it gives you double EXP for the duration. Um, and it lasts a little bit longer than invincibility, so normally like you find a big mob, you can do it. Uh, there's also other tricks, because you get things called torturers later. Oh, good hit, little bitch. I don't think I can hit him with my fists. There we go. Dead now. Um, where you can summon a whole group of enemies to the room. And, uh... Then you can use a torture in the brain. Um... 
Uh, you can summon a whole bunch of them and use a torture that kills like half the enemies in the room and with an experience bone, it gives you a lot of bonus. Oh, that's pretty nice. Uh, do I really want to do that on myself right now? I'll wait. Uh, yeah, Burnt Flesh is great when you really need health, but it drains vitality. It takes quite a lot of vitality, so it's kind of annoying. Uh, I don't know what those are, or these are for that matter. They could just be pork bones, but you never know. It could be something really crappy. Do you remember our scar? Have we forgotten that scar? You're crazy. Yes, all of those little cutscenes are relevant to the story. It does take quite a long time for the full story to evolve, so to speak. Um, because you kind of have to get a lot of the voices and the Seraphia, Seraphia, whatever the fuck they're called, um, to understand exactly what's going on. And it is frustrating because some of them, to get the full story, you need to get them from enemy drops. And so you need basically like lucky wings, lucky coat, lucky sword, and you'll be likely to get one. Alright, I'm at full health, so let's see what these are. Okay, let's put all the pork bones together. Alright. Sweet four experience bones. This is gonna be awesome. Let's save. Saving is important. Hey, I saw that. I'm trying to get the jump on me. I don't know if in this video I'll be able to go all the way down to the tower. Oh, uh, Marrow. I think that increases bones? Increases the amount of bones you have. Uh, I might want to wait. I think it only adds like two of each bone or something like that. Um, it's really helpful if you get arrow or explosive bones, although explosive bones are a fast way to kill yourself. Um, unless you have better throw range. Uh, but explosive bones hit whole groups of enemies and do quite a lot of nasty damage while they're at it. Ah, torture. Um, basically, they're one-time use, like basically like spell tomes um, that you use once, and uh, it hurts the hell out of enemies. Yeah, boom bones, that's there, not explosion bones. And actually, let's go ahead and equip the ant. Oh, didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. Fuck. I wanted to equip the antidote. I eh, might as well just use it. It doesn't really matter, this is my first run, so it's not a big deal. Your first run is pretty simplistic. Stay. Don't come near me. Bring back the consciousness orbs. Yes. When you get consciousness orbs, you take them and throw them at her. There's one in specific that's extremely helpful. Um, and I believe you can go go back and get it multiple times. Um, there's also a way to split them, um, and then that way you can uh, unlock several different things. All right, so we go over here. I do like that the the mini map like illuminates, de-illuminates, based on. Uh, if you're moving or not, or if you're attacking. I think if enemies are in sight, it also won't go. Also, the benefit to these, uh, 
to resisting poison is, is that when you get a when you get all these antidote fluids, um, you can just go ahead and use them on yourself to restore hit points and vitality. I think it just restores a small amount, but it's better than being dead. I mean, most things are preferable to being dead, but in this game, it doesn't take all that much to kill you. And yeah, we're pretty much done this floor, so. But I do like the fact that every time you go in, you're, you never know what you're going to find. I mean, this game is, like, it's more pure chaos. There are a few floors that have things that always appear, but, uh, yeah, see, puny coat. You never want to wear a puny coat. I usually don't like fighting these guys without uh, a sword. Yeah, I need to get out of here. I'm going to die. Go away. I didn't already want to be in this situation. Yeah, Urim and Thurim. Or Urim and Turim are in here. Do you know about Long Neck? He's the man that starts crying when he sees the cultivating fluid. He was one of us back then. I wonder why he ran away. Yeah, that's a tip. If you throw the cultivating fluid at him. Uh, at long neck. I am starving. Don't you agree? Why, yes, I am starving. Alright, let's throw some burnt meat. Munchy, crunchy, munch, munch, munch. Thank you ever so much. Ow, ow. Whew, that smarts. Are you not equipped with a sword? Don't give this hooligan any helpful information. Yeah. Um, I believe if you throw the cultivating fluid, every time you throw a cultivating fluid at Long Neck, he gives you a seed. Um, which is really helpful. Um, there we go, good. I should show you what Boom Bones do, but there are too many little guys. Where are you? There you are. See, I mean, that killed like everything over there. The only problem is if an enemy's close to you, it sucks. Alright, and let's do this. The problem is getting the right range of them, because they have a goofy range. Fuck. Oh shit, I was throwing experience bones. Damn it. No! And I killed myself. Yep, that's how quickly you can lose your life. Alright. Uh, return the title screen. Yes. Yeah, you can keep continue playing, but I want to not die on my first run. My first real run, that is. And you can also do this, which I'll show you real quick. You can look at the database. Uh, your rankings. That's basically your best run. Yeah, and it tells you uh, what Baroque you get, which is basically things that you did. Um, we have the event list. And... Uh, these are basically all the things you unlock as you go. Um, that's the opening. Uh, that's just advertisements. You can unlock both the advertisements that were released in, I think, America and Japan. And your item list. Yeah. I love the music here. It's so bizarre. But as you give it to the kid... See, these are all the consciousness orbs. As you give them to the kid... Uh, with the bag on his head, this will slowly unlock, and then you can look at what each of the items do, uh, which is really helpful if you are identifying things uh, pretty constantly. I think you get something that's only available if you fill out all of the item list. Um, voice list, again, these are all the characters, and these are all the things. You get something if you fill them all out. 
I think you get a piece of extra story. I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, Baroques are all little pieces of when you show the Baroque monger uh, the consciousness orbs you give him. And character lists, all the people you've met. Let's see, Dr. Angelicus. Uh, and you can also... Yeah, Research Angel. Um, even characters you don't know about. And those little guys that flew past us are the Littles, which they're very important. Yes, Bulger. And these are all the consciousness orbs that you get from them. Um, so you can look and see what they all are. Glues. I hate glues. They're getting their consciousness orb is a pain in the ass. But yeah. So that's basically the, the skinny of all the things that you have to do in the game. Yes. So let's continue further down the tower. Also, I want to see how long I can record before it starts getting all screwed up. Oh, well, that's a better start to the floor. This off. Still need a sword, though. Probably gonna roam around looking for a sword first, because... This is gonna start to suck. Um, some enemies will chase you throughout the entirety of the level. I don't need to talk to you in third minute. Right now. The part that sucks, too, is, is if you get a lot of... Uh, fleece. I think that's... Is that better? Two resistance ice attacks. Two standard. Yeah, let's go. Um, if you die at any point, even after getting a whole bunch of speeches, you actually have to go back and redo it. Uh, so that's why it's really best to save as often as you possibly can. Ooh, Cursebringer Angel. Good to know there's one on this floor. Alright, there's the exit. Please give me a sword. I'm about ready to throw some of the Cursebringer Angel and hope that he gives me a sword. But yeah, it's gonna lag a little. Oh, well, we don't know what it is. Maybe I'll throw it at the Cursebringer Angel. Um, because if you throw flesh at the Cursebringer Angel, no matter what you do, um, he'll purify it to make sure it's not rotten meat, because rotten meat can give you a stomach ache or other things like that. Basically, negative status effects. Let's use experience bone. Pick up this, and... Yeah. you fighting basically by punching is not the only way to kill enemies. It's usually not the best method, unless you have a really good sword. Um, there are a few really good ones, like as famous from uh, I believe originally D&D, &D, but it also was in uh, uh, fuck, why can't I think of it? Uh, Ultima. Glass swords are pretty much like one-hit kill items. Um, but then they break. But I think for this, it only allows you to use them for one floor, and then it breaks. Are they all in Uman and Thuman's room? Uh... Ow, that hurts. Please don't do that. Man, I'm striking a lot of criticals. That was like three criticals. need it, we'll give it back to you. You like throwing brands. It's got good throwing range, and the damage is superb. Yeah, most of that is tips. Um, there's lots of things you can throw at them. I think if you uh, throw them... Let's see what's in the indefinite. Uh, if you throw, I think, their consciousness orb at them, it's like weird happens. Like, they say really weird shit. <gasps> A me brand. Me brands are like one of the best things you can get in the game. Um, I'll save that. 
Uh, basically, it takes something, maybe I'll put the evolution to blow it up. Uh, it takes something and puts it directly on the first floor. So that way, when you go back into the tower, you have it right from the start. So say you get a really awesome sword, you me brand it, and uh, when you go to come back, it'll be there for you, which is very handy. Because as you saw before, you don't get any of your stuff back. Flame disc. Yeah, you level up pretty quickly in the beginning. Usually the first 10 levels are easy, then obviously later on it gets much harder. Um, but that's also because the enemies are hard as all hell. Uh, usually past 10. No farting. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save, and I will continue it in the next episode. Let's play Baroque with me, Morak Dies. See you later.